a mile. Oh. Turn left. Classic. All right, good morning, good morning. Welcome back to the vlog, guys. Today, I'm gonna try to actually take a look at and analyze how efficient uh, the mileage prediction is. So I did leave the house with 212 miles of range. Currently, I am at 208, and my trip says 39 miles. I'm at 208, no, 207, and uh, 39 miles to destination. Uh, Waze also says 39 miles. So we're gonna go 39 miles and, and let's just say 207. Speed trap reported ahead. Thank you, Waze. Why is it having me go that way? Um, so yeah, let's, um, let's just kind of see how efficient this battery actually is. I'm gonna try to drive conservatively, not, uh, not smashing the pedal to the floor to accelerate too hard. Also, because I got all this cargo in the back, I got, like I said, 30 chairs in here, so. I don't want these things sliding around too much and mashing into the back of my seat and the back of my trunk when I'm accelerating because, you know, the Tesla's. Um, all right, guys. Well, I'm, I'm just going to be driving for the next... In half a month. I'm just going to be driving for the next 46 minutes. So, uh, yeah. Here we go. driving for about 15 minutes, maybe a little bit less than that actually. Anyways, so we have 29 miles left and I'm at 196 miles. So hopefully we can make it to this baby shower, shower all the way out to my aunt's house and then back home to where that supercharger is near me to uh, boost it back up. But um, I don't know, if we don't make it guys, you'll uh, you'll see what happens when Tesla hits 0% battery and you're on the road, out on the road. All right, so this is a toll road, and um, well, needless to say, this is my easy pass. Uh, yeah, so this is my easy pass, and um, well, on Tesla windshields, there's some sort of uh, there's some sort of UV coating that or infrared or whatever that blocks these things. So you have to put it in a specific spot, which I thought was just to the right of the rear view mirror, at like the very top of the windshield. There was like a little spot that wasn't coated or something that would let this work. However, I used it, or I tried putting it there going up to New York um, a couple times for those easy pass. And on a couple of the tolls, I'm pretty sure it didn't hit. So I'm not confident in that. So every time I go through tolls now, I actually open the sunroof and hold it out of the sunroof. Um, I think the other option is to get like a, a license pla plate mount, e mounted easy pass. It's a different easy pass. I don't think you just put that on the front plate. It's something else. The problem is I don't have a front plate on my car and I don't really want to get one. So that's not an option. So I just kind of suck it up and hold it out on my sunroof. And, and yes, it, it has been raining a couple times when I've done that. But hey, I like the aesthetic of no front plate. So you win some. started at 207, 208. Obviously my short term memory is terrible. I think it was 208, it moved down to 207. So either way, we're at 172 right now and I still have 6.5 miles left on my trip. And this is probably the slowest, most conservative driving I've done in a long time. The other caveat I will say is that the first 20 minutes, 15 minutes or so, it was stop and go traffic. Um, I do also have my AC on. It's set to 69 degrees. Um, the fans are at five. It's only blowing out of the top vents. Um, so top vents, fan on five. Um, it's set to 69 degrees and it's 75 outside. So it's not like it's super hot outside, but the AC is still on and dang it, I missed it again. 84,001 miles on my on my Tesla. I missed 84,000 rollover. I'll try to get 85. We are getting here with uh, 
468 ish or just about there the um the navigation does give you a percentage estimate of your battery which i guess you could technically calculate um ah here we are here we are drove extremely conservatively here um yeah uh in a quarter of a month so when we were driving here i was on that toll road and uh the speed limit's 60. Um, there were actually a good amount of cops on that road, which there typically are. And the flow of traffic and everybody just flying by you, I mean, it's crazy. That's, you know, I'm usually trying to stay with the flow of traffic, but um, where am I going? So 65% is what it still says. You've arrived. Destination is on your left. Now your destination is on the right. All right, guys, so we made it with 167 miles, but then we have to go to my aunt's house and then back home, so I'll keep it going. Um, so I have no idea how this happened, but my car is at 172 miles. I don't think I've ever, it's, it's 217 as well. So like, I don't think I timestamped, I didn't timestamp the other one, but I don't think I've ever seen my car gain miles, especially when it's hot outside. It's 82 degrees outside. And I, th I thought it was at 166 and now it's at 172. So not really sure what happened, but I guess I'll take it Ex extra miles. All right. So I just gotta load these chairs up again and then I'm actually gonna head to my aunt's house. So we will have more miles coming off. Stay tuned. All right, so somehow, even in this heat, I put some miles back on my car. We're at 171 miles and we have 40 miles to go. So we're going roughly 40 miles, should be 42 minutes. We're at 171 miles up here. It's 251. This is 39 miles. That one's an estimate because I don't really know my aunt's exact address. I just know how to get there. I'm just trying to figure out the exact mileage or the rough mileage. So it's about 40 miles. We're at 171 miles. So we should get there with around 130-ish miles. Yeah, that's mental math for you guys. All right, so let's, let's head out. efficiency goes that was pretty spot on 30 39 miles it used about well less range if it if my battery went back up to 172 i don't know why but it did for some reason so that's actually less than 39 miles and i was using the ac on the way here it's not terribly hot outside but it is it's 81 degrees right now it was 70s when i left but i mean it's definitely hot it's not it's not cold so um now stay straight to you know take the US i don't know it, it actually wasn't too bad so i guess we'll We'll see how it is uh, when I actually get to my aunt's house, what kind of range we're working with there. So yeah, obviously I got another 30, 40 minutes to go. So now I'm not really sure why I just thought of this, but obviously I'm, I'm pretty dumb. I, sh I should have just looked at what my odometer was at when I left this morning, when it said I had 207 miles and looked at it at the very end of the day. So let's just go from here. 84,019 miles, 152 miles of range. That's simple enough, and let's see what it is when I get home. Uh, so one other thing, so this leg of the trip, uh, the majority, I'd say 35 miles or so, it, well, the other one was still highway driving, um, but this is obviously highway driving, but um, on I-70, and coincidentally, that's also the speed limit, 70 miles an hour, so, you know, I'm obviously doing right around 70 the whole time because I'm not gonna go slower than the speed of traffic. But yeah, so I'm staying right around 70, cruising with the flow of traffic, so I think it is gonna hurt my range a little bit more than earlier on today. So I'll be curious to sort of try to see how much how much range it actually takes off. Um, so like I said, we should get there at right around 130. Um, we have 142 miles left on the battery. But we have 18 miles left until we're there. Uh, so clearly we're probably going to come in under 130, uh, which does show you that going over 55, 60 miles an hour starts to take a bit of a toll on the battery. I don't really know what else drains the battery like a ton besides the AC and the heat that was really getting the battery. Um, I know in the winter a lot of people say to do the heated seats 
and then don't blast the heat as strong because the heat really kills the battery. That's also why I wanted the cold weather package. If you have the cold weather package, well, this, the front seats are always heated, but if you get the cold weather package, it's nice for your passengers because in the back, all of those seats are heated. And then in the newer cars, it also adds a, a heating element to the steering wheel, which I unfortunately don't have, but if you're plugged in at home, you can preheat the car, and then when you come to hop in, the steering wheel's not gonna be cold anyways because the temperature's nice and warm, so that's kind of a bonus in the Tesla. Other than that, yeah, we're at 140 miles, 16 miles left, and the odometer is at 84,029. Just keep me up to date. It's 3.33, the odometer says 84,046 miles. We have 120 miles left on the battery. So about 10 miles less than I thought. So it definitely got killed on the highway, I think. Um, the highway driving definitely hurts it more. But when you're on road trips, you know, you just kind of prepare for that. Stop for superchargers, not a big deal. So I think I have plenty to get home. Uh, the closest supercharger, the one that I go to at home is 27 miles away and I have 120 miles. So I'm Golden, golden. All right, I'm gonna go enjoy my aunt's house, see some family, maybe get in the pool, we'll see how it goes. My, my, my. Look at that beauty. Ooh, ooh. Oh man. Goodness gracious, guys, what a car. All right, so we are heading home. 119 miles, 77 degrees, 84,000. 46 miles. All right, so I'm gonna pop into the supercharger. I gotta stop and feed my cat, and then we'll be home. So, um, or then I'm then I'm going to Chelsea's house to see her. Um, uh, yeah, so we're heading home. 119, 84046. We are gonna go to the supercharger in Gaithersburg, which is it says it's 27 miles away, but uh, it's actually 30 miles away. So 30 miles, 33 minutes. 33% when we get there. 119, 84, 46. All right. So what's kind of crazy is the hill that I'm currently on that I just cut away from, um, even going down the steep of a grade, I am actually slowing down. That's how like strong this regenerative braking is, which is pretty cool. So you really have to be going down a steep incline to have the car, I guess, continue its momentum if you have the regen braking on, um, which is which is good because it means you know you can use the car to come to a stop and you're getting energy back. In which one thousand feet, is, which is Baltimore. great. Um, I like right now. I'm. I'm slowing down even though I'm going downhill with momentum, which is pretty pretty crazy. So the way you kind of have to play that is by by like gently using the accelerator. So it's you could you're still using some regen, but it's not the full amount. But that's I mean that's still fine, but that's how you kind of keep the coast, if you wanna put it that way. That's how you maintain coasting. On another note, I will be or I, I will not be driving conservatively for this next leg because obviously I have plenty of miles. I'm gonna head to the supercharger briefly. So I'm just curious to see how many, you know, how many miles am I gonna use driving on the highway for about a 35 minute trip. So let's find out. One more thing, we're on the highway, 84,050 miles, 114 miles of range, says 26 miles until the supercharger. The more you know. So we're at the supercharger, uh, 82 miles of range left, 84,076 miles. So not quite as efficient. Obviously, if that was a longer highway stint, that just you know starts to grow more and more. So it's not bad, but it's also not great. 
but I wasn't trying to be conservative at all. So, um, yeah, it's just kind of is what it is, I guess. 82 miles of range left. It's 80 degrees outside. Odometer is 84076. 652. So that's, I guess, a wrap for looking at the actual range. go look at it it's climbing up there it's crazy hour and 10 minutes sheesh but I put two miles back on let's do it all right so I think it's been like 20 ish minutes we put 78 miles on the car it's obviously slowed down quite a bit and we're at 161 miles of range 50 minutes remaining it's 712 so we're gonna leave well, let me go unplug the supercharger and then we'll be right back. All right, so we have 163 miles of range. Odometer, let's turn the car on because it's off. So if I push the brake, bada boom, now it's on. Okay, so we have 84,076 miles, 163 miles of range, and we are heading in for the night, home in whatever. So, let's see what the mileage is at the end of the day. Obviously supercharged once, but this is the uh, final final tally for the day. 84,088 miles on the odometer, 148 miles of range. Obviously, we supercharged. <gasps> What's up? What's up? Hey there. All right, Koozie. Are you ready to end it? Yeah, we are. All right, well, that's it for today. Um, yeah, like and subscribe if you're enjoying it. Uh, we gotta figure out which wine we wanna drink on this nice wine dispenser. So I, I got some decisions, decisions, decisions. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. <laughs>